Accountability. What is it? How does it work? And better yet, how does it make a difference in your business and in your life or the lives of your team? First, for more videos like it, be sure to like, share, comment down below, or subscribe to get more videos just like this. Now, when I started, I showed you this. You want to know what it is? Maybe some of you will recognize it. That's yeah, my workout card. You know, just think of how many times you've got to go to a gym to fill out this card in full. Now, I will be honest, this is not how this card is supposed to work. It's supposed to put your be committed for 12 days and track your workouts. Fortunately for me, I tracked my workouts in the other way and I decided two years ago, that's right, two years ago, I decided I was gonna go to the gym and I was not gonna stop until this card was full. Now, there's a flaw with that belief, but that's besides the point. So two years ago on September 9th, 2017, it is now September 27th, 2019, I made the commitment and I started. Now what does this show? And how does it apply to accountability? Well, in my experience and with the numerous teams around the world that I've been working with, I have found that accountability to numbers is an incredible way to help ourselves, help our teams, or even help our clients excel. Specifically, for example, in sales, accountability to the number of calls you make or the number of people you meet or the number of business cards you collect at a networking event. For a gym, accountability to my reps or accountability to, to the workouts that I do and how many reps I get in and how many sets I do. Or in my case, because frankly, my biggest problem was just not showing up, accountability to going just in the first place. But what about life or in your relationship? Do you have an accountability to a number? How many dates do you go on with your spouse? How many vacations do you go on in a year? How many times do you, how many special family outings do you have with the kids? Where else could you apply numbers to hold you to accountable so that you can live the life you want or achieve the goals you look for? Harold Taylor, a great, great man, I met him several years ago. He always said one way to hold himself accountable was to his calendar. And he always put in his calendar his personal things first. Meaning, if he wanted a vacation or if he wanted to spend more time at a theater, I think was his su suggestion or was his example. He wanted to spend more time going to theater shows. He loved the theater, he loved the art, him and his wife. And so he would put that in his calendar for the whole year. He'd buy, he'd uh, invest or sponsor into the theater, get a number of tickets and schedule right in. And he held himself accountable to his calendar. I personally do the same thing. I block in all my personal time, my work time, my sales time, my administration time, my personal development, my education, all gets blocked in. But there's something specific I wanna show you. The reason why this means so much to me is because if you could see it, you would see that I went every single day from September all the way up until October, November 1st. So at least five to six times a week. I went consistently from September up until December, it looks like December 12th. And then I fell off the bandwagon. <laughs> I really did. I didn't go back until the 20th. Then I went to the 27th. Then I went to the second, sure, I could say, well, it was Christmas holidays. That's not about, but let's see what happened. January 9th, 11th, 12th. Thankfully, after the holidays, I got back onto it and followed it through. But then as I continue, I find, and it looks like it's about March, April, no, I was pretty consistent that year. May, June, oh, that's where it happened. May, May 2, 4, you know, I remember that one very well. I went to Vegas, had an event, went to speak. When I came back, oh wow, is that ever spotty. Look at that, half this card, consistent every single week, week in, week out, one vacation, and I fell right off the track record. How many times have you been held accountable? How many times have you made a goal? How many times have you built the habit only to not follow through after so long? Is it the end? Was it the end for me? Is it the end for you? See, that's where you get to make the choice. 
I recommitted. Have I ever been as committed as I was in the begin in September 2017 to May 2018? No, and my stomach shows it. But the fact that I held myself accountable and was able to accept the fact that I made mistakes and continue to move on, keep moving forward, keep progressing. Well, that's really where the true magic lies, isn't it? Unfortunately, now that I've finished this card, I have a new one and I'm gonna start my goal all over again. This time, to fill this card in one year, not two. So if you'd agree in this kind of idea, you wanna support me, you wanna join me, leave a comment down below. More than happy to visit you at Good Life at 6 a.m. Yeah, 6, 7 a.m. at the worst. Be sure to comment down below. And if you hold yourself accountable, specifically to numbers, what is it you do? What works for you? Please share it so we can all learn, we can all grow, we can all get better together. But that's all for now. Thank you for your time, and I will see you soon. Be sure, of course, to like, share, subscribe for more videos just like this, or comment down below, or tag someone who you feel needs to learn a little bit more about accountability. Until then, enjoy your day, and have a great life.